Tom Nappy here, and I'm here with Sandy Sofaro, Pat O'Brien, and Ann Click. Guys, thanks for coming by. Thank you for having us. And uh, you're here to talk about Hopkinton Family Day. It's been a great event the last couple of years, mm -hmm. and it always seems to get a great turnout. And uh, there's a lot happening at Hopkinton Family Day. Uh, what are some of the things that we can expect at this upcoming Hopkinton Family Thank Day? Thank you. Well, first of all, the makeup of Hopkinton Family Day is all the nonprofits, organizations, local uh, town-based businesses coming to the field with activities, free activities. Each organization, we ask them to come to the field with a, an activity that anybody of all ages could, maybe just for children, maybe for adults, um, could do, but the activity would be free. And that is the uh, nuts and bolts of, uh, of what happens that day besides food trucks, local entertainment all day long, and at the end of the night, beautiful fireworks. I'd say probably the best firework display around. Yes. <laughs> uh, could you talk about some of the entertainment uh, that's going to be there? Well, um, besides on the field that we have the entertainment, we have um, balloon artists, then we have Maggie the Clown to kind of keep the, the, the kids entertained there. We have a, a great variety of, of music throughout the day. Um, we haven't nailed down our um, lineup for this coming year, but last couple of years um, we've had all local talent, Amanda Maffei, has been um, there. Uh, Barbara Kessler and her band has been there. Um, we've had um, Kyle Adams there last year. Um, we've had Steve Spector and the Hot Acoustics. They've been um, our finale act the last couple of years. And this past year, we've had a high school band. Um, really, really fabulous. Um, I, hopefully, they're juniors and they're going to be around uh, this year. Um, but um, we had a great high school band, and they played some great music, and they really got the crowd going early on in the day. And uh, when is Hopkinson Family Day this year? September 14th this year. Um, starts at 2 o'clock. Um, we can't be more than thankful for the um, number of volunteers that we've received from the high school. We do need a great deal more of adult volunteers. Um, we can't be, again, more thankful to the sponsors that we receive from around the town. Um, but we do need more uh, volunteers after the events, um, um, the day after. Uh, we are expanding our food court this year. Um, we get thousands of people people the night of the fireworks. There are a lot of people that are engaged in all the events that are happening during the day. The face painting, the uh, what do you call the bubble, uh, the jumpy houses and everything else. And anybody that wants to, um, we have our website, Annie. Mm -hmm. Friendsofhopkinin.org. Right. Terrific. Anyone that wants to bring in new ideas of activities or anything, we're more than welcome and open to all that. Um, uh, all our support system, like the police, fire, the DPW, we can't thank enough. Um, we have our dunk, dunk tank and any old fashioned ideas from, like we have our tug of war, if you want to come up with a new activity, we're more than welcome. We Any have, ideas of who's going to be in the dunk tank this week? <laughs> uh, we're still thinking. <laughs> we're still thinking. Uh, so what are some of the things that you need uh, volunteers for? Well, um, for us, if we can get the main one, we'd love to have some new volunteers to our organization. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to come on a couple of years ago and was here for the, um, wasn't here on the board for the 300th anniversary um, that this organization got involved in. But we morphed into the Friends of Hopkinton after that, and I've been involved in the last two family days. And uh, we definitely could use some more volunteers in the group because this, believe it or not, is a year-long planning process. And um, along with our uh, ham and bean karaoke night in February, um, we always could use the help. Um, as far as that day or surrounding this event, um, we always can use help with the setup of it. And um, during the day, um, we have some posts that we tried to have high school kids man them. 
but just because of um, the nature of what we need them to do, um, it, it turns out it's better if we have an adult doing that um, than a high school kid. Right. So we're looking for some adults, just basically some um, traffic posts and some um, watching over certain events that um, is better off if an adult is doing it. And then certainly if um, students or adults um, have time on Sunday, the day after the event, um, we all members show up about 8 o'clock the next morning, and we need to just pick up the high school um, to make sure it's, it's in the way that we found it um, right. so we get, get invited back next year. So <laughs> It's um, a year-long process. It just doesn't happen like a couple of months before. Right. It's a year-long process of all this happening. It's like the marathon. It happens like the day after the event. Where and you have a lot of events leading up to it as well, I understand. Well, we have a family karaoke is a fundraising event, but it's, you know, you got to pull permits, you got to get insurances, you got to get sponsors. It's a Ask Annie and Pat, they're at meetings all the time. Right. And Paul and the people that can run around and do it. It's a year long process. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But, but the Friends of Hopkinton meet once a month, okay? So mm -hmm. um, it's not daunting. The, the, if anyone would like to join us, we'd love to have new membership. Uh, we, meet, we, we do meet once a month throughout the year. We might take one, one summer night, one summer month off. But, um, and then we break out into, if we need a sm smaller committee to get you know, things done. But um, yeah, it, it's a great group of people. Oh, we love and I understand there's a, oh, I'm sorry. Um, I understand there's a Hopkinton uh, 101 coming up yes. that informs about uh, the Friends of Hopkinton. Well, there's going to be several organizations at one, uh, Hopkinton 101 at the library on March 30th from 10 to 2. Uh, we're just one of the organizations that signed up to be there, and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions to welcome anybody who would like to become a member or any uh, volunt adult volunteer to uh, speak to us that day. Plus our website, um, and we'll have forms for organizations who would be interested in joining us this year, new ones, but we'll be contacting our uh, previous organizations this month. So anybody who has been part of Family Day will be hearing from us this month, but anyone new, they can go to our website or speak to us on uh, uh, Hopkins 101. We'd yeah. like to mention a couple of things too. That is, uh, the fire chief has made a point of making it uh, public that drones are not allowed on Family Day. Okay, um, you know we know everybody loves loves that. It's it's exciting, right. but it's not available. It's not allowed on Family Day. So, just to, I wanted to mention that. Yeah, it can certainly be dangerous at times. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, did you want to? Yeah, I said no one really, we really have a lot of um, fun in communication mm -hmm. after the meetings. They're mm -hmm. held at my house, and if anyone, if everyone takes, partakes and takes a little piece mm -hmm. of work to do, it's, it's not burdening to anybody. Right. We really are enthusiastic. That's why... The group didn't want to disband after the 300th, and we want to have community service still partake and um, move on. And this is why we're doing this, and yeah. we love it. So I mean, it's it's fun. Yeah. Sandy said she said, "If we're not going to have fun, we're not going to do it." And I said, <laughs> "Okay, well, we're going to have fun, and we have. It's we have. Been a, it is a great group, but we are way open to." having uh, new faces, you know, yeah. absolutely love to have new yeah. people. And even though we, we like the, the feel of old Hawkinton and the way things yeah. used to be, right. we do realize that, no. you know, time has come. You know, new people are in town, new ideas and events and ways of doing things, especially with the social media and stuff like that. Right. So, you know, we'd love to have young blood come into the organization with new ideas, young ideas to help us, you know, carry this group to... Um, the next level. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are a great community group, and this event, I know everybody looks forward to it, Good. and we're certainly looking forward to it this year as well. Thanks okay. for all you guys do for the community. Thanks. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Tom. All right, Tom.
All right, well, there you have it, Hopkinton Family Day, September 14th this year. And if you want to help out the Friends of Hopkinton, you can find them online at... FriendsOfHopkinton.org.